Hey friends, in this video we will discuss about a comparison between NTFS and REFS and this is a NTFS versus REFS a comparison chart where we have just mentioned some of the features in NTFS which is not supported in REFS and REFS is having some new features that is also not supported in NTFS as well. So we are just starting from the, the NTFS file system. So NTFS is basically widely supported by third party tools and applications and is the default file system for most versions of Microsoft Windows. And when we talk about the reliability, so NTFS includes features such as file system journaling, which improves reliability by providing a way to recover data in the event of a system crash or power failure. NTFS also supports like uh, security features like file permissions and encryptions, uh, which allows administrators to restrict access to specific files or folders and protect sensitive data. If you talk about the compression, so NTFS supports file compression which can help save disk uh, disk space and reduce storage costs and uh, ntfs having the uh, the large volume and file size including uh, it support up to 256 tb and 256 tb volume size as well ntfs also supports boot files in fact it is the recommended file system for the system partition uh, and in modern Windows operating system. So if you are just formatting your server or your system, so it supports the boot files as well. So your, your operating system can be installed on NTFS based file system. Now we talk about the REFS. So REFS is designed to be more resilient than NTFS, meaning that it is better equipped to handle and recover from data corruption or other types of error. And REFS provides a better scalability uh, suited for large scale storage scenarios such as uh, with data intensive applications or big data workloads. REFS supports larger file system, uh, larger file size uh, and volume size including its support up to 35 petabytes. Uh, for uh, volume size as well as also the file size and uh, if you talk about the NTFS so it is um, it is uh, bigger as compared to NTFS because NTFS only supports 256 TB whereas it supports 35 PB performance so REFS is designed to be more streamlined and efficient in its implementations which can lead to better performance and resiliency and if you talk about the data integrity, so REFS includes features such as data integrity streams, which allows for automatic detection and correction of data corruption and a mirror accelerated parity features that provides data redundancy and faster data recovery in the event of a disk failure. Currently, REFS does not support boot files and it is primarily designed for data storage and is not intended for use as the file system for the system partitions uh, or for booting the operating system. So if you are just having the uh, REFS file system uh, on your desk and if you want to just install the operating system, so currently REFS is not supported for the operating system boot and uh, REFS is widely used in the data center where you can save big data including SQL data database or some other database uh, on the REFS because it provides a bigger size and the main feature is that it is just uh, uh, allow for automatic detection and correction of data corruption. In, uh, also, we will see how REFS is, uh, uh, is supported in, in the updated windows we will compare like what are the features is not supported in Windows uh, Server Operating System. So this is my lab environment where we will just see how uh, REFS file system can be formatted, can be used to format any disk. So I'm just going on the disk management 
and in the disk management currently I have a, a unallocated space and we will just create a REFS file system based uh, drive so new simple disk and uh, next and uh, next and here I need to just select the REFS and click on the next it's just completed now I am going to click on the finish and this has been formatted now there are the two disk which is which is like a two drive where one of one of them is NTFS file system and second is the REFS so now what I will do I will just create a folder on both drives new folder and I'm assigning a name NTFS drive whereas I will just create a new folder on the REFS based drive and I will provide a name REFS drive now what I will do I will go on the file and resource manager where I will just try to create a quota on both drive and we'll see what are the difference which we are just uh, checking this like uh, D drive so currently if you say about uh, if you say about to select the drive that is based on the NTFS so I'm able to provide a quota on NTFS based drive but, but when we are just selecting uh, we are just searching the drive which is just formatted with REFS I am unable to do it so NTFS is currently supporting the quota limit whereas REFS does not supporting the quota limit and uh, now what I will do I am just going to check the security features on both uh, drives so if you go on the NTFS based drive and uh, just click on the folder and click on the security so I am able to select the security features as well whereas when we go on the REFS so I am able to assign the security features as well so currently security is available on REFS file system but compression and uh, quota is not supported in REFS file system so this is the big difference between both of them and also you cannot use this drive as a as a system drive for installing the operating system thank you for watching this video